In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite hidden gem mods that you may not have heard of, but definitely should try out. These mods will enhance your gameplay experience, add more variety and immersion, and make your Skyrim look more beautiful than ever. First on the list is Dev Aveza SSE, a mod that introduces a fully functional airship to the game. You can locate the airship docked near Solitude and use it as your personal flying home. Customize the interior, hire a crew, and travel to any location in Skyrim and beyond. The reason I added this mod was to fill the void left by the absence of space travel in Starfield. Exploring the Skyrim world by flying Dev Aveza exceeded my expectations. With no loading screens like in Starfield, I could actively control Dev Aveza in real time, exploring the Skyrim world, docking at forts to plunder goods from bandits, and occasionally engaging in combat with dragons attacking Dev Aveza. Traveling with Dev Aveza brought various unexpected events, making my Skyrim experience even more immersive than I anticipated. Speaking of diversity, the next mod on the list is Cloaks of Skyrim, introducing over 100 cloaks and capes to the game. These cloaks come in various colors, styles, and materials, including fur, leather, linen, silk, and more. Personally, I have a preference for wearing cloaks, especially in games set in cold regions like Skyrim, where I feel they fit particularly well. This mod not only applies to the player character, but also extends to NPCs and enemies, creating a fresh and varied atmosphere. What adds to the appeal is the possibility of discovering unique cloaks during your exploration. Collecting these distinctive cloaks along the way adds an enjoyable element to the game. If you find this mod intriguing, I highly recommend giving it a try. Next up is Diverse Dragons Collection, which adds 28 new dragon types to the game, each with their own unique appearance, abilities, and behavior. You will encounter dragons of different sizes, shapes, colors, and elements, such as frost, fire, poison, lightning, and even rainbow. Some dragons can summon minions, cast spells, or use special attacks that will challenge you in new ways. This mod makes dragon fights more exciting and unpredictable, and adds more diversity to the dragon population. Next up is Smooth Dynamic Dodge Animation, which is a mod that adds 8-way dodge animations to the game with support for TK Dodge and DMCO. This mod changes the dodge animations depending on your weapon type and situation, such as step, roll, or attack cancel. This mod makes dodging more fluid and responsive, and gives you more options to deal with different situations. Another mod that enhances the appearance of your character is Ancient Argonian Armor, which adds a new set of light armor for Argonians. The armor is based on the ancient Argonian civilization that existed before the Hist, and has a unique and exotic look. The armor consists of several pieces, such as a helmet, a chest plate, gauntlets, boots, and a tail cover. It's a great choice for anyone who plays as an Argonian or wants to add some diversity to their wardrobe. Next up is Swiftly Order Squad. This mod provides a custom menu for conveniently and swiftly issuing commands to your followers. For instance, you can instruct all your followers to wait, teleport to your location instantly, or access their inventory. Use the on-screen menu for a quicker and easier way to command your companions. Give it a try and streamline your follower interactions with Swiftly Order Squad. Next up is, is MCO Moveset, which is a collection of weapon-specific movesets for Skyrim SE. This mod uses the MCO behavior system to add new animations and features to each weapon type, such as weapon arts, parries, counters, and more. You can also swap between any unlocked movesets mid-combo, creating your own unique fighting style. This mod makes combat more dynamic, diverse, and fun, and adds more depth and challenge to the game. Moving on to the next mod, we have Folkvanger, Grass and Landscape Overhaul, which is a grass mod for Skyrim SE. This mod adds new grasses for each hold, including leaf litter, sticks, pine cones, pine needles, and more. 
The mod also adds new matching landscape textures to provide better transitions, currently only including the rift, pine forest, and tundra. This mod makes the landscape more detailed, realistic, and diverse, and adds more immersion to your exploration. Next up is Modern Stagger Lock. This mod is a framework that adds custom stagger animations for different types of actors, such as humans, Draugr, and Fall. It also allows you to stagger an actor multiple times, creating a more realistic and satisfying combat system. You can also recover from stagger quickly by performing a dodge or a roll. Next up is Poise. This mod is a combat overhaul that adds a poise system to Skyrim. Poise is a measure of how resistant you are to being staggered or interrupted by enemy attacks. The higher your poise, the less likely you are to be staggered. Your poise depends on your armor, weapon, and perks. Next up is Dynamic Sprint. This mod adds weapon-specific sprint animations with pre-sprint animations. Depending on what weapon you have equipped, you will sprint differently. For example, if you have a sword and shield, you will sprint with your shield raised. If you have a bow, you will sprint with your bow lowered. The pre-sprint animations add a dash effect when you start sprinting, making it more fluid and natural. Next up is Maximum Carnage. This mod is a gore mod that lets you dismember your enemies in various ways, such as burning, electrocuting, or chopping them up. It also adds blood splatters and gore effects to the environment. Next up is Wade in Water. This mod reduces movement speed when walking or running in the water. In vanilla Skyrim, walking in the water doesn't affect the speed at all. However, this mod changes the immersion by slowing down the character's speed while in the water. The reduction in speed varies based on the depth of the water, adding more detail to the experience. When used in conjunction with Wade in Water Redone, the mod allows you to slow down movement speed, not just with spells, but also through engine level adjustments. As we step into 2024, don't miss out on these essential Skyrim mods I've introduced so far. And thank you for joining me in exploring these incredible additions. Stay tuned for more amazing mods in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Until next time, happy modding and I'll see you in the next video.